You're doing good, dog. Off you go. Oil and filter change. Motorbikes. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Prevention's better than cure. Right, Charlie. Have a look underneath, mate. There's a should be a bolt under there that we undo. Yep, that's it. That comes out of the gearbox, eh? See if that fits on there. Taking the bolt out of the bung hole. There we go. Yep, keep it square. Nice, got it. Good work. <gasps> got it. Good work. Huh? Work quick. Get the oil pan. Get the oil pan. Ah. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's see the filter. All right, that's the new filter. It goes in. Let's just put a little bit of oil around the top there, just to lubricate it. All right. Yep. Grab the. Uh, Grab the bolt, mate. Yeah, is that cut nice and tight, but not too tight? Yep, that's it. One. The puppies have rolled in rotten stuff. We've got four rotten smelling puppies. Come on, you little mongrels. Come on. They're so adorable. I'm not giving any more of them away. We're going to keep the lot. Good dogs. Come on. Look, only our dog's a smart one. Look at you dozy bastards. Good girl, Ziggy. Such a goodie. All right, you're going to have to... Oh, here comes Bear, the giant. All right, let's see how you go in the bath. All right, so it is. Kristen, shall I leave the water in for the kids? Good dogs. Oi! <laughs> Are you watching the phone? <laughs> well, now, I knew they weren't reading. I come upstairs and there's a book being held up there in silence. I was like, what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Sunny's new room. This was my cubby hole. Look at the master bedroom. What are you doing? These are my carburetors off my XJ750. And voila, which is, uh, so what I'm doing is I had these jets that I had that were oversized, so I'm gonna, I would try to drill them out or I cleaned them out too much and I stuffed it up with these things, which are little things that you clean out your gas um, ends when you oxyacetylene gas things. But what happens is they've got a rasp on the side of them and it actually is not good so it's not the right size of the jets now the jets are measured in very small microns millimeters of 0.0.5s and stuff and so what i've had was i it wasn't running right as i was going down the road to go blah blah so i put these other jets that were 102s in 1.05s and then it just didn't quite have enough now when I look in the manual it showed that the less I could go of the 750 was 1.20 so I bought these lovely drill bits off a place called because I love the girl she was lovely Nadia was her name and uh, it was called um, are you guys uh, following this? Uh, Those uh, specs and whatnot? Uh, I just gotta go change the battery on my camera because it's gone flat before I even bloody started. Uh, tips and tools, right? It's hard to find good help, especially when I'm uh, helping myself. Might have to get into explain that all again. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm drilling out the size of my petrol main jets. That's what I'm doing. So I'm opening it up from 1.05s to 1.20s. Or a very small little drill bits. So now, now hang on a minute, mate. Have you are these sizes that you've just put?
pulled out of the hat? Did you just pull no. those out of your hat or have you no. got well, professional advice on this? No, In I'm, other words, is, it, is this going to be a cock up? I'm hoping this is going to work because it seems awfully large considering what I was working on was 1.05. So that's the carburetor. So take the bowls out. Now I've had these carbies off about a million times. So they should be reasonably clean because I've just been working on this trying to get it going. And another, What's another that? What's is, that? <laughs> what the hell is that thing there? That's an old fashioned screwdriver. What the oh, hell? Brilliant. If Look you ever find it. one, buy it and send it to me, would you? Because they're classics. I've got two of them, but they're magic. You can't beat them because you, know, you can hold it here and here and here. Look at that. <laughs> Everything with carburetors is like a woman. You've got to handle it gently. And... Uh, <laughs> oh no, I'll be busted. <laughs> Thank that, you. Uh, is it the one on the left or the right? I'll go left. Just when I open right. my mouth, shit falls out. <laughs> yeah, put a bit of this in there. Thanks, Kath. I need a bit of Bailey's. Oh, right, look at that. This is on it, doesn't matter. It goes with everything. Bailey's goes with everything. Mmm. Magic. They should make more of that stuff. So. Now, so what we've got is, so I'm starting off trying to drill it out. Now, I've just broke a drill bit, just as Josh, before Josh come in the door, and I just broke a drill bit that was, uh, luckily Nadia said, you can buy two of the same in your five pack. Thank and you did. And I did. Thank Christ for that. And it was a good move, Nadia, so thank you so much. I actually just came down to give him a torque wrench because he needed one, but it turns out he doesn't need one. But he might need one, so I'm going to leave it here with him. I haven't used a torque wrench in years since I put a head on. This, this oh, Safari, I think, was the last time I used it. One, taking it out with a 1.15 first. That's that one. Do you get it? Bang on. <laughs> when your carburetor is sitting like this, that the petrol should be one millimetre. Lots of mill between friends. All pretty bang on. There's no fuel injection around here, folks. Actually, that uh, Honda, no, what is it? The other Yam would be fuel injected, wouldn't it? The blue one? The uh, no, no. 900, the Honda. No, that's uh, the. The Honda's be the fuel injected, yeah, wouldn't it? The VTR 1000, yeah. no, that's. Uh, no, that's carb. No right. fuel injection. That's still carb. All that's naturally the biggest, aspirated, eh? The biggest folk carb on a twin, still. I think it's 48 mil. There you go. Okay, mangle bases. We haven't changed it Now, this is the tricky part. Yeah, now, that's the problem with these old rubbers too. Do you want a hand? These old bikes, sometimes you're pulling the bits and the rubbers are so old they bloody split in the job and you yeah, fuck. Yeah, gaskets right. and shit like that, you can't find another air filter for it. Yeah, the thing is, Joshy, is that I did just go out. Make sure your clips are back. I just went for a ride before I took it out, so all the rubbers are soft. Oh yeah, worn them up a bit. Worn them up a bit. So then you just got to give it the message. Give it the old heave out until that pops here. That's okay. And then you just hold that there. Without wrecking your rubbers. Again, it's keeping them everything nice and warm. So you start taking off your carbs. You should always try and go for a run or warm up your motorbike, get everything soft. Good day, mate. How you doing? Okay. Okay. Unbelievable, we didn't even warm it up either. He just put everything back together, turned the key, didn't even twist it, and it roared into life. Hell, that's too much. It'll go down the road and you'll hit 100. You give it the message up past 4,000 revs, and it'll just go. Whoa. Whoa. That's it's funny, you said that I have this recurring nightmare where I'm riding with my mates. It's not really, it's kind of a nightmare, it's a shit dream. I'm riding around with my mates, and they've all got bikes when I was a kid. And they were all going wah wah, and when I give it the juice, it just goes boo boo, and I just, it just, it, I have it all the time. I don't know what the fuck it's about. It's probably just a memory coming back because we used to have this shitty old CT90 to ride around. It was gutless as. Great bike though, great bike, but pretty gutless. Remember those old CT90s? Yep, I had one. High low range. The bike's back together though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's back together. Yeah, you shouldn't have to tune it. Just start it up, and you'll just be roaring on down the highway in no time. Remember when we were allowed to go out and ride motorbikes? 
<laughs> when you're used to. That was awesome, eh? Was we that could go. Out, we, yeah, yeah, we could go and ride bikes and go to a pub for a beer. Now we're not allowed to do it, or we'll get arrested. Did any of you guys ever thought you'd see the day? Not me. He didn't even warm it up. Doesn't sound good. Too rich. Sounds like it's sculling it out of the jug. Needs a smaller glass. Bit guzzly, eh? Didn't work. Yeah, too much gas. Too much gas. Balls. Oh well, get some old jets. It's worth a punt though, he tried to give it a bit more juice and it sounded like good, eh? And then it got into those high revs and it just whoa, it's like ah, damn it. So at the end of the day, one two oh is too big. What happened out there, Dan? Oh, right, she all turned to custard. So what I'm gonna do. That's your spare set of carbs, that's one you bought in it. Oh yeah, you got two sets. Like that, that, there's your primary and that one. No, so yeah, so He's I'm trying to eat, he kind of peed it off there, folks. I'll we'll try that again. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so you're changing it to these other ones? Alright, so these are 105s. I think it didn't really say much on it. I hope just, so. I'm just making sure that I haven't got the wrong ones. This is a primary. Free and lovely. This is what I've just drilled out in there. The Dan's taken the jets out of the other car. It doesn't know what size they are. It doesn't have any way to measure them. He's hoping that they're slightly bigger than the original jets, but not as big as the new bought out jets or the same jets he bought out. So maybe this will make it run sweet. We Hopefully. don't know. <laughs> it's a gamble. We don't know what size they are. They no. could be smaller or bigger or the same size. Who mm -hmm. knows? The smallest drill I've got. That's your one. All right, final stages. Put the bike back together, number two, just the carb, so pretty simple. He's gonna take it for a spin, it's getting dark soon. Bloody winter, the, the day just runs out so quick and winter done it. Just runs on out, no more day. It's a nice looking tank that, isn't it? It is a nice tank. For an old bike. Yeah. She's a bit ugly around the rear end, but yeah. nice the top end's looking pretty nice. Nice girls get a bit that way at this age. Yes. <laughs> Top's normally good. Yes, they Bottom do. End, not so good. <laughs> Tow off an old bike, that thing sounds so good. It's not choking yet, you're probably hitting about 130 now. 140. Whoa, that might be 18. Bit of a choke down the straight there, but she's humming. Oh, I thought he just got pulled over by the cops then, but it was a farmer in a white SUV cruising down the road. I was like, oh fuck, the cops. What are the chances? I haven't seen a cop in weeks, and Dan takes his bike down after tuning it and opens it up and runs into a policeman down the straight. I don't think it was, thank Christ for that. That would have been stink. Sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, much better. So it was uh, the, the size smaller, eh? Yeah, they were a fair bit smaller. I can't hear you, bro. They're probably the 118s, but what I'm going to do now is I'll show you this, and we're going to tune it to those jets. Because they were tuned to 105s. Ah, uh, yeah, you can hear that. It's get a choke down there, didn't they? You went to fifth or something. Yeah, just as... sort of just, just, I mean, as you opened it up, the needles come out, it was a way. But, but before, before they came out, 
just in that mid range, it was a bit, but 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 not much. But yeah, well, then it was, then it was then away. Yeah, so his knees are what off a wing. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you can Sorry. hear it because it sounded so sweet to the naked ear. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the cops. Did you see that one? Oh no, I had to slow down, man. <laughs> I was going, oh no, 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 this is my gravy stroke, mate. I was gone. I was like, oh shit, he's been pulled over because I didn't see the lights, but I saw a white truck come down and do a U-turn. This trick here is we've got me mate's, um, he's got four vacuum gauges, which allows me to um, balance my carbs. And the trick is, is that I've noticed is when you're tuning it, you're tuning it and then your balance goes out. And then you tune, your, you set your balance again and then you tune it and you balance it, you tune it and you balance it. It's getting that the two together like this is, it seems to be the the um, the harmony between the two and, and, and it's almost like an orchestra you've got to play with it and get get everyone working together and it takes a bit of a thing so let me show you how I do that because it's really cool so these go into the little airports and uh, we've already got pretty much everything all set up and Bailey's rum's better and Josh is holding out on me because it's still in the car. So I'm actually trying to keep him here so we can join. <laughs> so I'm getting on the lash tonight. Oh well. Yeah, I was going to go home too. No, he doesn't want to go home. Can't go home now. I'm too drunk to drive, to damn it. He never wants to go home. Should have bought the bike. Why would you want to go home? It's too long those pies, but they will be here somewhere. You don't have anywhere to put anything. It's a problem. Neither do I in my shed. Need a bigger shed. But then if you get a bigger shed, you just fill up with more shit. So the trick is, if anyone out there that doesn't have a shed that's full of shit, don't get too much shit. Or we'll get a real big shed. So these little black things, and that one on there, this one's the hard one. I made these little dowels because I've lost the little rubbers on this one. This oh, mint. Good skills, bro. Good skills, mate. Okay. Twin discs, this thing was made for stopping, eh? Yep. Racing bike. So when you got the go power, you need the woe power. I had to make a couple of tools to uh, take these shocks apart. And one of the tools that I had to make was this one. So this goes inside your staunching. It's way down in here, which has got a, uh, a middle piece inside that, which has got a socket. And then there's an Allen key on the bottom of here that undoes. And that's your dampener and uh, so I had to make that to fit that and they say even in the manual you've got to make a tool for that to work that's shit so you can undo it to get undone it yeah. classic so he said look if you want it then you can grab a couple of hundred bucks so I gave him a couple of hundred bucks for it went down to Waterloo and picked it up and it was a really nice bike and it, it, I mean you can ride on it for ages it's really comfortable and you could, it was really easy around the corners, they're a really well designed bike and a hell of a lot of power for an old bike, the 750 of this, they just fly. I mean like that's got 240k on the clock and it's just, and they get up to 200k just like that. Really unbelievable, um, so I really like them and the comfortability of it, which is really good, I do like that comfortability of that. Uh, of the bike, you see, so that's yeah, really she's uh, we did mention she was a bit wide in the rear end, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. the old girl. I'm gonna go the photo. That's the vice grips on the brake cable trick. If you fellas want to do some choice burnouts, just put the vice grip on the front brake cables gently so you don't put a hole in them, and then you just do burnouts if you've got a rear wheel drive car. That is, so we used to do it, and we'd also run some plastic tubing down the back wheels from the window washers and then we put brake fluid in the window washers and then we'd grip brake fluid onto the back wheels and she'd just light up because we had a shit car that couldn't do proper burnouts. Everyone oh. thought we had a grunty ass car but it was just because we used uh, brake fluid down to the rear tyres. That comes out uh, So to clean it out I made this up so I put it on my drill. I had to make this up, but my mate actually said, why don't you just get a bolt head? No, no, that would have been clever, because it looks like a big Allen key. Undo these puppies, open that flange up so they just pop out. So that's... Not really much of a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Look at that, have you guys ever seen one of those? It's a... Oh, you can adjust it too. You can make thin slices. Oh or thick slices, look at that. Cats fed me dinner which was awesome, Dan's still on the bikes. 
So what we've got here is we've got the fork out. So this is what we've got now. I've already taken one apart, but I want to show you how to do this all the way because she's quite a special little system. Now I've got that out. Now that's the air hole for the air assisting. And that was held on. I only went over there. It had, a, had a, a wee, what did you call it? Circlip. Circlip. And that was to stop it going down anymore. And it wasn't going any further up because it was held by this piece here. And it's got two O-rings on it that stops the air releasing out of there. You can see it's not the best and it's a little bit pitted there, but that's not too bad. And it's all about making sure that you're staunching. This is your staunching. They call it staunching. Pretty staunch, actually. Anyway, so that there's like that. So that just popped off and then I took the circlip off and then I got it down past the next uh, bit of the fork, uh, the headset there. So anyway, so what we're doing now is we've got to take that out of there. So what we do is we put this in here very gently because we don't want to damage our staunching much. So what we'll do is we'll put that <laughs> much, much. <laughs> so we put that in there. Just leave it up, but because you probably shouldn't do this, and I'll probably be disgusted a lot of people by doing this. Now I made my lovely little tool, which is quite cool. So that goes in there, and I'll just give that a bit of a tap, tap in there. I've got a good tap so it breaks that seal of that nut. Now that's not gonna want to turn. It'll keep because I don't want to stuff that staunching. It's gonna turn in there, see? Oh, it's still moving. So that's okay because I've got this lovely little beast now. It doesn't matter if I damage it too much up here because I'll, I'll I'll file that off before I put the new seal back on. And it's not somewhere that's needs to be too low because this is the problem down here where it goes up and down that, that, that's got to stay nice and good I mean I put like like I say I'll probably be just a lot of people discussing that it shouldn't be very tight in there but oh it's in there there we, there go. we go so hopefully I haven't now I have damaged it a bit. I'll just file that off before I put the uh, thing there you go now this has got a spring behind it and who knows what's in here the last one just had this in the spring but in this one's it's a bit different I don't want to go pew. Could you not put a uh, rubber or something on that to so what on the I inside do, of you? So what I do is Monkey I wrench. push it down with my hand, push the spring in, and that should be okay to do that like that. And then when it comes off, everything just try not to lose everything when it pops out. Because there's a hell of a lot of pressure in here. Yeah, so well not it. a hell of a lot, but there's, there's enough. So staunchings down, springs in there, like that, see? So that pops up. So I've got that there, it's got an o-ring in there. Nine times out of ten should replace all the o-rings. I'm going to have to replace the o-rings in the top part for the air assistance because they're looking a bit square. And then we've got this, looks like a homemade piece to try and tighten up. The, looks like it, to tighten up the spring, but it needs to have pressure in there. So obviously someone's... Rung it up, bro. I reckon. I, I, I it doesn't look very, doesn't too much look tolerance in there, is I it? Mean, the thing is, it's been cut, there's still rough parts on it. They haven't even cleaned it up, and I, mean, I don't like that. But anyway, it is what it is. Let's even see if it's. Was that the you, same. Dan? No. Oh, it wasn't. I don't know. Let's even see if it's the same size as the other one. As the other one. Same kind. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, yeah. it's just a bit of PVC, carry. is it? PVC? It is, it is, it is. PVC pipe. That's right. So they didn't even get it the right size, but yeah. they were trying to like, bugger it, this will do, we'll slap that in there. In here, now. Like amazing, so it didn't slide the size of springs. There was that on the top of it, but on the other one there was another washer underneath it as well, so and up there, and that's what you've got to remember when you're putting it back in, is to keep your narrow piece up the top end. I don't know why we decided to do a how to change your springs on your 1984 Yamaha XJ750 because I don't think anyone's going to do a search for that. Yeah. Then you come over here. Might not get many views this video. And then you check this out. Up the room to have the oil going up through your dampener. Lovely oh, little circuit. So that comes out. So we've got circuit washer. Right, yeah, quite interesting, eh? At the end of the day... Hey, I've got that one! <laughs> have you? Kick your ass! <laughs> Whoa, opportunity <laughs> bounds, eh? <laughs> it's already downtrailed me. We've had about 10 games. I haven't won yet. I've come close a couple of times. Where's the scrotum on, baby? Maybe walk around the table three times with my pants down around my ankles. 
Yes. Sorry, I'm not, not more of a cameraman. I'm recording the whole thing. You're just going to have to sit with what I'm doing. I want to record. What Got him after years of playing pool at Dan's pool table and trying to beat him. I finally did. Rack him up, Dan. Mugs away, mate. Another down drag coming right up. And this time we got him recording. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me a That'll be a good one. Nothing Ah! <laughs> Got him twice, there we go, I might quit while I'm ahead. Dan's on the lash, he's just gone around and started all of his bikes up. I got the last one on there, they do sound pretty nice. It's a shame we're not actually allowed to ride the bloody things, isn't it? Hey, cocky locky. Roosters. Started crying at 3 o'clock this morning and did not stop till 10 o'clock in the morning. That was the last draw. We just ate the other two and these two, we're going to take them down and let them go in the paddock, Jack's paddock. And then we're going to let some chickens go with them and they're going to have happy families and they can crow as much as they want. <laughs> There we go. Yep, take the net out. Oh shit! Oh shit! Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't go according to plan. They're in the bloody back of the truck. They can shit in there because we've got a couple of sheep to move too. So, all right, stage one complete. Stage two, we're going to take a bike, Stu Drever's bike, down to Danny Lane because they don't have a bike, and we're going to share the love. Oh, she's sitting on the eggs. We were trying to find a chicken to throw in with the roosters because it's a bit rough, isn't it? Getting taken away from all you ladies. And They're covered in shit, eggs. and I put them in my jersey. Oh. And now my jersey's got shit on it. And my boot has shit on it now, too. Shit everywhere. Just, we just can't contain these chickens. We're going to have to build a falcatraz or something. There you go. Didn't know your mum was a bikey, eh? <laughs> <laughs> She's off. Dan's actually off riding one of his bikes. Now he's not here. He's up over the hill somewhere. He's just tuned it up, so he's probably seeing our guys. This is a bit of a stitch up here. The, the Jack's neighbours over there have called the cops on us several times for hunting on Jack's place. We've come hunting here, and they've called the cops and said, these guys are hunting. They're not allowed to. And the cops have come down and been... We're allowed to hunt his private property. We're allowed to hunt on our own property. So anyway, <laughs> every time he sees us down here hunting, he calls the police. So we're going to let the roosters go <laughs> in the bush right next to us. Oh no, it's not a very nice thing to do. It's a classic stitch up though. I can see the humour because now the roosters are going to want to come up every morning at hunting time. So. We should probably turn the other cheek and do the nice thing. We've got to let him go on his farm anyway. So yeah. It's a good stitch up. Everyone likes a good stitch up now and again. In you go. Come on. In the net. Get in there. There you go. Look at that. It, he's called the police on us for letting chickens go. Mother's Day tomorrow. Mother's Day. What are we going to do for Mother's Day, Charlie? I'm going to wake up at like 4 in the morning and get everything ready. You heard it right here, folks. Charlie is going to wake up at 4 in the morning and get everything ready for Mother's Day. Yeah, are you really going to do it? I'll try. What? Well, you'll try? I will do it. For, that's good because I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. I'm quite surprised that the policeman didn't <laughs> pull over and go, what the hell are you guys up to? Standing on the side of the road with a fishing net with a couple of chickens hanging out of it because as he pulled up, it was just as we were chucking the chickens over the fence. He probably just looked at me and went, oh, it's Josh, what the hell's he up to now? I'm not even going to stop and ask him what he's doing. Hi, happy Mother's Day. Look what Kristen gets to do for Mother's Day. 
breakfast in bed? No. Bacon and eggs? No. Would you like to go for a nice relaxing coffee in town that you can't actually have because there's no cafes open? No. Walk on the beach, green stone hunting? No. She just wants to clean the house. She's batshit crazy, that woman. Anyway, uh, happy Mother's Day, everyone. A little bit late, I know. Where's that puppy gone? This is what I really wanted to show you is the puppy. Another puppy that's been in foster care and it's back here is just so awesome. They're all so awesome. These dogs are all amazing. There she is. She's inside. What's his name? Ziggy. She's out here. She's really awesome. She's just so happy and tails wagging non-stop 24-7. All right, Jin, come back. There you go. Good day, mate. Good dog. Good dog. Yes, you're actually pretty good dogs. <sighs> so we've got three left to go to the North Island. We've got no idea how we're going to get them up there. We just can't. Actually, we can get one to Danny Burt. We've got to get it to Christchurch first. So yeah, it's a bit of a mushing. I'm a little bit concerned the North Islanders aren't going to get their puppies because we can't get them up there. We can't get them up there. How stunk like rotten fish. Well, rotten tuna we figured it was the puppies pissing all over the carpet so we've had to bring the carpet out hose it down it's going to take bloody weeks to dry 